the Hollywood fat tire bike car rack for my Rad Rover and for my wife's step through Rad City. Hi, I'm Arnie, and here we talk Rad Rovers, Rad power bikes, anything dealing with Rads, and we go for rides. If you're into any of that, why don't you consider subscribing? Just click that big red subscribe button, click the bell icon so you won't miss anything, and occasionally check the show notes to see for anything else that's interesting down there. So yes, this is the Hollywood rack so we can haul our rads around. It was like the first thing that I did after getting the bikes. Had no way of taking them any place other than just riding from the house. That required me to also have the hitch installed on my Mini. They don't come with them, so I had to have that done also. It was quite an expensive undertaking. So this brings, even before I get into it, brings me to one small point that might be a negative. That's a two inch hitch. This requires a two inch hitch for it to work, or a receiver, I guess would be more accurate. So just keep that in mind. You'll notice that on mine, that I've got the fatter hoop, for lack of a better term, for my Rad Rover, and then a narrower one for my wife's Rad City. And uh, to my knowledge, it was the only rack that offered that kind of flexibility. Um, at the time I bought this, I, I didn't spend a lot of time looking, but I didn't find any other uh, racks that were suitable for carrying those bikes. And those are pretty heavy when you put the two of them together on the back of the car that gave me that um, possibility for the price. I know there was a Thule that would have done it, but it was considerably more expensive. Not that I remember what it was now because I've had it for almost two years. So let's take a moment and put this thing slided in. One of the first things you might notice is the hole for the pin that, that holds the rack into the receiver. That also allows us to tighten this down. Um, tighten the rack in there so it doesn't wobble. So let's let's slide this in. This rack is pretty substantial. Weighs a fair amount. Just slide that in there all the way to the stop. It's that easy. Nothing to it. The pin I was mentioning. Really heavy duty. And there's a lock that goes along with it that you put on to hold the thing all the hold the thing all together. So we're just going to slide this in here like that. That's done. I don't think I'm going to bother putting this on. You get the idea of the lock. Now, this right here is the way that we're going to tighten this so it has a tighter fit. You'll notice that right now it's rocking back and forth. Obviously, we don't want any more play back here than is necessary. So we're just going to take this handle and we're going to turn it. And what this is, is a long, long threaded rod that runs up in here. And there's a hook inside that um, is pulling back on that, that uh, pin that we just put in there. And we tighten that up. And I tighten it pretty tight. I don't want it going anywhere. And now you can see just how solid that is compared to the way it was when I first slid it in there. So now we have it set up so it's kind of stowed away. And you'll notice that we have these two pins that are, you can pull these out, pull the, the one that's closest to the car out, and that will allow the whole thing to slide down. And snap into place, just like that. Additionally, there's this pole that, 
that um, stands up that'll hold the bikes vertically. I'll do that in a second. You may notice also that there are Velcro straps that hold, that wrap through the wheel um, to hold them in place. I happen to have the battery on right now. I would definitely not have it on if I was going anywhere. Well, as you can well imagine, this is heavy. So getting it up there takes a little bit of practice. Just want to put on the back brake, pull it up, slide it up there. Like I said, it's not, not the easiest thing to do in the world. Now you're going to want to bring the rod up and there's a little pin, a cotter pin that goes in to hold it in place and then you're going to take one of these two hooks and you're going to slide it down the rod until it sets on the crossbar and that essentially holds it in place and you can push it down harder to tighten it which leads me to my biggest complaint actually it's my only complaint I have worn through this rubber on here and it scratched the frame taking the paint off so I have to find a new replacement and it didn't just didn't last that long so I'm a little bit perturbed about that and by the way if you've ever had this happen let me know or if you have even a solution let me know that would be appreciated and so then the reverse process or the, you take the other bike put it on reversing them Once again, once again, just put that back brake on if you need to. Lift it up, set it in place, bring the back up, take the other hook. slide it down. There's two pinch things by the way, I forgot to mention that. And clamp it into place. Now, you need one of these crossbars because it won't work any otherwise, any other way. This thing will not go down all the way to this, it needs to have this. So there's another added little piece of expense right there and that's it there you have it the Hollywood rack for the Rad Rover and for the Rad City step through we've used it a number of times and it has worked really really well like I said the only thing that I don't like is I worn that cushion and it's worn off a spot on the frame of my rover. I'm not happy about that, but otherwise it's worked well. And you can see it does sway a little bit. I haven't experienced any problems. And as I said, I've been using it now multiple times for almost two years. There it is, the Hollywood rack, fat tire bikes for hauling the rad rover around hey if you like this kind of content make sure that you subscribe click the bell icon leave a comment give us a thumbs up share you know the drill by now thanks for so, so much for stopping by we'll see you in the next one